Hey everyone, it's Jackie Bowman here, and today I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about a subject that, you know, frankly, I don't enjoy talking about, but I find myself having conversations with family, with friends, with clients that are real estate agents, and then also clients that are buyers and sellers in this real estate market. And a lot of times we feel like we're a victim or we have been cheated in some way or um, something dishonest has happened, right? And we kind of go into that victimhood, but when we really think about what victimhood is, it's a little bit of anger and sadness because we're disappointed, right? And so when having these conversations, the first thing to do is just recognize that we're disappointed. A lot of coaches and a lot of positive thinkers are like, reject victimhood, reject fear. And they coach us into just thinking positive, right? Instead of actually processing through what happened, learning to stack the deck or pivot or make some decisions so that we are not in that situation again and learn from those, right? So um, just this past week, you know, just having conversations with coaching clients um, and just talking about, you know, that victimhood, what it causes it is it causes fear. Like, okay, if this happened to me, and for example, I lost a listing that I surely thought I had, and then that client chose someone else or that client sold the house without me, right? Or maybe you're a buyer in this seller's market and you think that you were cheated some way because there was 23 offers and you had cash and you bid over list price and you still didn't win, right? So what I want to do is kind of change that mindset from the victimhood of processing through that and realize, you know what? Yes, this happened and I am disappointed. And instead of pointing fingers of like who and why that happened, on, from someone else's perspective, the only thing we can control is our own, right? So what if we just said, you know what, this is the situation that happened. This is how I was disappointed and let down. How can I pivot in my business? How can I pivot in my strategies to stack the deck in my favor so this doesn't happen again, right? And so um, how can we prepare for a situation like this next time around, right? And so whether you are a buyer and you, were review, you are reviewing with your agent, what are all the different strategies we can do? Are we doing absolutely everything we can in order to beat out these offers? And sometimes you're doing everything you can and it just is. It just is the fact that not five cash offers all over list are going to win. There are going to be four people that are disappointed. Not four people that were mistreated or cheated out of, but four people that were honestly just not the best offer or weren't the ones chosen, right? So, um, and then again, if you're a coaching client, I mean, I had a, a, an agent this past week, um, you know, she was attracting agents to EXP, our company, and uh, this team actually went in under somebody else. And she felt at first like it was unfair. It could have been that she was cheated. There was some other value proposition offered. But really, just being disappointed is okay. And actually taking yourself through that disappointment and saying, but what can I do to change my situation to up my game so that this doesn't happen again, right? And so I just wanted to let you know that a lot of times we come across coaches that are like reject fear, reject victimhood, right? And we all say we learn from our mistakes. Well, it's not our mistake that we didn't win the multiple offers with cash. It's not our mistake that that team or that group chose to be sponsored by someone else. It is truly that we just have to sit back and say, you know what? I can cry for a moment. I can be in pain for a moment. I can be disappointed in a moment about a situation and then process through that and say, you know what? Fear 
of being a failure, I see you. Fear of not being good enough, I see you. And then the question is, how do you rebuild and become stronger? How do you pivot in your business? How do you take on new strategies as a buyer in this market, right? What can you do to level up? That's the question. So thanks everybody for listening. I hope this helped. And um, if you ever want to contact me for any reason, whether it be coaching, eXp Realty, or buying or selling, I'm happy to help you all. And if you could do me a favor, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like me on Instagram, and of course, like me on Facebook. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks everyone and have a great, great rest of your week.